across schools rather across Middle Tennessee and Southern Kentucky closed again tomorrow and here in Nashville Metro schools will actually close their doors for the rest of the week. State offices though will be open tomorrow as will most Metro offices. Besides that city leaders do urge you to stay home if you can. News Channel 5's Chris Cannon is live out on James Robertson Parkway and Chris we did see some good melting on the roadways today. What are you seeing out there right now? Roy, the sunshine was very helpful today, and this is the situation at the 10 o'clock hour. You can see major roadways like James Robertson Parkway, for the most part, they are dry and clear. But say you're making a right-hand turn onto Musician's Way. Well, this is what you're dealing with here. This isn't black ice. This is just a plain old sheet of ice. Black ice, though, will be an issue on roads like James Robertson Parkway and the interstates. And if we get that snow overnight, well, it could make the morning commute a mess. So we're asking everyone to continue to be cautious and patient. As for travel tomorrow morning, I urge Nashvillians to use discretion and make well-informed decisions about seeing how any overnight weather situation has impacted our roadways. And take a look at 12th Avenue South. It's fairly dry and passable, but then roads just off of 12th South are covered with ice. That's why it is so tricky getting around tonight. As for the interstates, TDOT got to all the lanes today. That is the good news, but spots of black ice will be out there and they could just send you flying off the highway in a moment's notice. Don't let your guard down if you are out there traveling tonight. Be vigilant. Take it nicely and easily. And also here's something to remember. The bitter cold weather is approaching. It is chilly out here tonight, and it is a good night to start letting at least one faucet in your home run constantly, and it should be the farthest tap in your home. The best way to visualize that is to walk in your back door. Where's the farthest tap from the back door? Find that tap. And then overnight, let it run really slowly. That way the water is moving. And it will be a lot cheaper to pay for that little bit of water that runs out of the faucet overnight than to have to break and pay for a broken water pipe. Bottom line here, the weather is going to cause problems for the rest of the week. We are live downtown. Chris Cannon, News Channel 5 HD.